Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. We have taken a couple of weeks just to chill out with friends and family and we've got a couple of weeks again until we head back into mainland Europe to start exploring there. We decided to take the last couple of weeks before we do head to Europe and explore a bit more of the UK. We've only explored a little bit really, so we decided to take the van and come to the Cotswolds. If you didn't know where the Cotswolds is, it is in this area here. I will put it up on a map now and yeah it's got loads of like cute little villages yeah we've never we've never even been to this place before so we're really really excited we are currently in a place called burton on the water and we just drove through the village a little bit now and it looks so so cute it's actually quite busy yeah surprisingly busy yeah we didn't think it would be considering it is just a really small uh, village and it's a monday yeah <laughs> we're gonna head and check it out now and obviously we'll take you along yeah. Okay, so it seems as if we're just walking through the centre now and there's just loads of restaurants along the water, along the front. And it's actually quite busy here. A lot of American voices have heard. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's really cute as well. There's these little bridges going across the river every now and then. And people are just sitting, reading books. People are just having some takeaways on the side on the benches. It's a really, really lovely town, isn't it? It's very picturesque as well. All the buildings look the same, like old stone colour. I definitely see why there's tourists here. We're currently walking down a back alley and there's all these little tiny cottages. They've all got names. This is the Holly Cottage. Who is this? An allotment. Just seems really peaceful and relaxing. Yeah, it does. I feel like anyone who lives here just has like no worries about anything. <laughs> but like, there's not many cars going through. There's no. It's really, really quiet. It could be because it's later on, but I can't see really why that would yeah. make a difference. Well, the the lots of walking and lots of dog walking. I feel like people do a lot of walking around here. The main street is 20 miles an hour, and there's not many cars in there at all. And no. then. Yeah, you just, it just seems really relaxing. There's not a lot of noise or anything. No, it's really, really lovely. It's only our first little village in the Cotswolds, but I think we're going to really enjoy it. Yeah, the reason we came up to Bottom of the Water is because it is one of the highest rated on all the like little blogs and stuff we read. So we thought we'd come here first it's before also, heading south. Yeah, quite far uh, north. That's yeah. what I was going to say. All the other popular ones seem to be further down south, so we thought we'd come right up to the top and then work our way down. As we're walking, we've just stumbled across this church. It's just really picturesque, isn't it? It is. Like, everywhere we walk, it all sort of looks similar, but looks so different as well, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't come to the UK without having chips from the chip shop, and that's exactly what we've done. So we have both got... Oh, I look so good. We've both got sausage and chips on the side. I've got a gravy and Ash got a curry sauce. And we've just sat alongside the water, just enjoying our tea. We picked the chips up from the highest rated chip shop in town, literally on the water. It's called... The Chip Shed. The Chip Shed. And they come in these fancy little boxes with the newspaper wrapping. Which are covered them. with the Queen. Mm. They're definitely freshly made. Good morning guys. Yesterday evening after having our chips, we ended up just sitting there and enjoying the view for a little bit before calling it a night. We've got up this morning, we've taken a short drive over to the next little village called Lower Slaughter. And we're going to be taking a walk up along the river to Upper Slaughter. So we have learned a couple of fun facts about the Cotswolds. It is actually the largest area of natural outstanding outstanding natural beauty in England, stretching about 100 miles. And it gets its name, the Cotswolds, from walls being gentle hills and cots being sheep enclosures. So there should be a lot of sheep enclosures on the gentle hills around you. We've walked into the village and you've got all the classic old buildings that you see. And it is just very, very cute and picturesque. It is 
I think the main attraction in Lois Slaughter is the old mill museum just behind us. But it doesn't open until 10, so we can't go in, we can't learn anything about it. <laughs> a little bit too early this morning. <laughs> so if you are interested in that, you'll have to come here yourself for that. There's also a little cafe as well that you can go into, so that's quite nice. So you don't even need to walk along the road to get to the upper Slaughter village. You can just take this nice little footpath along the little river here and you're just in the middle of nature. I think England is sometimes maybe just known for its cities like London, but you've also got places like this where you're literally surrounded by nature. You've got tiny little small villages. And I definitely think it's something that we probably take for granted growing up in Wales, because um, Wales is very similar to this, of course. Um, but yeah, very, very pretty. And I think people should definitely see this side of England too, not just the cities. We did actually see in another video that they were swapping out the telephones in the telephone boxes for defibrillators. So, just in case of emergencies. Yeah, it's pretty good that they put them to use now. We've taken a half an hour drive down south and we have ended up in a town called Sirencester, which is actually the capital of the Cotswolds. And we have no idea what's here in Sirencester. So we're going to take a walk into the town now and just check out what we can find. Yeah. As we were walking into the town centre, we had a quick look online to see if there was anything we needed to see while we were in Sirencester. And apparently you could see deer in the Sirencester park. So we've come straight to the park to try and spot some deer. Because uh, you don't get deer from around where we live. No, you don't. The only time we've seen deer is when we were up in Scotland. Yeah. So it'd be quite fun to see them and apparently they're wild too, right? Yeah, so far no deer, but... No, nope, but we've only walked a small amount, so fingers crossed we'll see some. we we'll see some horses. <laughs> <laughs> this park is actually really big. It stretches all the way down that way, all the way up that way, and then we're going to head back this way into the town centre. You should definitely get lost in this park if you didn't have a map. It's definitely one of the more aesthetically pleasing high streets that I've visited in the UK. It's got that sort of sandstone colour above all the buildings, but you've still got these same shops that you would get in most other high streets around the UK. I think we're going to head to a bakery and pick up some lunch and just see what we can get. Okay guys, we've just left Sirencester now, really nice town, uh, not too much to do there though, so we're going to head further south. We're heading to a little village called Castle Coombs, and the name is already cute, so I can imagine that the village is going to be just as cute as the name. Uh, I don't think there's much to do in this village either, but it is known as the prettiest village. Prettiest village in England. in England, so I don't think we can come to the Cotswolds and not go to the prettiest one. We've just arrived in the Castle Corn Visitors Car Park. We had a quick read of the sign, and this village is as, as medieval as they get. So there's a castle built here in the 11th century. It was played a big part in the wool industry, um, making the uniform for battle in the like 12th century. I don't know. A lot of like battle history and stuff going on. You can just imagine people walking around with suits of armor on. I don't know, <laughs> dragons flying about. Basically, it's just super medieval and we're just walking down now. It's about a 10 minute walk, it seems, into the village itself. Shock, there's one shop that sells ice cream in the whole village and Kelsey's standing right outside staring at it. I think though, I think it's someone's house and I think they just like sell it. There's just like a little old lady inside. That's pretty cute. It's an absolutely tiny village and I think this is like the main bit and people get pictures from this bridge up this road with the castle in between we're going to try and take some shots and see how they come out yeah but it's really 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 cute i can see definitely see why it is classed as the prettiest town in england because it is so just small and cute you literally walk through it within like two minutes and you're done you've seen it all <laughs> if you want to see what those pictures turned out like head over to our instagram just ash and castle on insta Okay, I'm currently stood in the centre of the village and there's literally 
one pub there, one pub there, a church there, a woman selling ice cream there. Me almost going run over there. <laughs> and the main photo spot is just down by the bridge, just there. So that is literally it. That's literally it. There is also someone selling cakes outside their door and it's just got a little letterbox and says, please be kind and put your money here. So there's not even an actual shop. It's literally cakes, ice cream, pub, pub. It is the smallest village I think I've been to. Same, and it's really super cute. That brings us to the end of our time here in the Cotswolds. We are heading further south tomorrow to check out the city of Bath. So we shall see you again in the next one in Bath.